Art comes in many shapes and sizes, uses a wide range of technique and materials, can be familiar or controversial. In some art, the skill of the artist is quite apparent. In other art, it may be hard to tell if the artist had any skill at all. Finding a meaning in some art can be a challenge, but even art that seems straightforward can sometimes have hidden meaning. To really understand a work of art, it takes a strategy. Professor Rene Sandel has come up with an approach that is very effective at figuring out the meaning of a work of art. Studying the balance between how form, theme, and context work together is the key. Form is how the work is. In other words, what elements physically make up the artwork and how those elements are arranged. The theme is what the work is about. Context is the where, when, who, and why of the work. Dr. Sandel has created a guide to explore these aspects of an artwork. The Artomatic Mini is an online version, designed as a visual aid to help you in analyzing art. It will help you annotate artworks to investigate how they are visually put together. Annotating means to identify the various elements of an artwork. This video will teach you how to use this tool. The first thing we will need to do is to go to this website and download the Artomatic Mini template. The template will download as a zip file. To open it, just double click on it. The Artomatic uses a free online program called Draw.io. You can use any device that can connect to the internet. Open your browser and go to the Draw.io website. It will look like this. When it prompts you, choose Open an Existing Diagram, find the file you downloaded, and open it. On the left is a panel which has some shapes. But we won't really need these items, so I'll make the working space a bit larger by closing it. At the top of the template, you will see nodes for doing your annotations. As I said before, annotations are ways to identify visual elements. There are different ones for form, theme, and context. If you need some help remembering what the different nodes mean, you can click on these links. There are some links to a bank of descriptive adjectives for writing about the formal elements and some sample sentence starters to get you rolling. To show you how the Artomatic works, let's make one together. We'll analyze a painting by the French painter Henri Matisse called The Green Stripe. A good concise annotation will focus only on the most important elements of the artwork. It's not necessary to use all the nodes. But how do we decide what is most important? That's where our research comes in. After looking at a few resources, it seems that Matisse was known for his use of color, so that will be the focus of our analysis. First, I'll need to import the image. I'll move the image to the workspace and resize it. Then I'll need to move it to the back so that my notes will stay on top of the image. I can drag the node for color to point to where my focus is going to be. Then I can drag a note card to make my annotations. You can just start typing. The text will wrap around the note card automatically. When I'm finished typing, I can connect the note card in the node by dragging the arrow icon on the edge of the note card to the node. Once I've completed my annotation for the formal elements, I'll move on to the principles of design. If I need to, I can flip the direction of a node like this. Now I'll make some more notes. If you need more nodes, just right click on one and you can duplicate it. Continue making notes for the theme and context as well.
When I've finished making my notes, I can make my Artomatic more visually appealing by opening up the toolbar on the right side. Here, I can change colors, fonts, and so on. When I've completed my annotations, I can turn them into an image by dragging my mouse to select just the part I made. Then go to File, Export, and select either JPEG or PNG. When prompted, choose Selection Only. Okay, so this is important. If you want to save your Artomatic to work on later, you must go to File, Save As, and name your file something original. Make sure to add the HTML suffix before you hit Save. Another way is to go to File, Export as an HTML document. Either way, you will need the HTML file in order to continue working when you reopen Draw.io. We've just made a cool looking illustration for our analysis of Matisse's painting. It would look great in a workbook, report, or presentation. The image file we made can be put into any program that will accept one, like a word processing program, PowerPoint, or Keynote. This can make for a very professional looking presentation. As you can see, the Artomatic helps with analyzing the form, theme, and context of an artwork provides some useful links and resources, and is flexible enough to make visually dynamic illustrations. Investigating how meaning is created in art will help you understand more about it and make your own art more expressive. Who knows, you may become a rock star art critic.